here in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 through 16. Jesus Christ explains to us that when the kingdom of God is created upon the earth, everyone who has done their part to create God's kingdom on earth will receive the exact same amount of money as their reward. We will need the great new righteous money of God to establish God's kingdom on earth so that we can conduct business. It's written in the Bible that the love of money is the root of all evil. In other words, to hoard money is the root of all evil. Hoardable money is the cause of interest slavery. And it's considered the root of all evil. It does so much damage in the world. God's righteous money is unhoardable. And it's free from the sin of usury. Free from control by evil satanic money lords to create misery for all of mankind who works. So when the kingdom of God is established and we have successfully won the battle against our opposition, which is known as the Battle of Armageddon, we will begin life anew in the kingdom of God with God's righteous money known as free money because it's free from the sin of interest. It will also make us free and it brings us great freedom more than we can imagine. Freedom and prosperity and happiness for everyone. And it circulates freely just like the blood in our bodies. Money is considered the blood of the economic system. And as we all know, if the blood in our bodies stops circulating, our bodies are dead. If it slows down, our body becomes very weak. It must circulate correctly for our bodies to be healthy. And this great money of God will circulate correctly. We will see when we establish the kingdom of God on earth that this money works miracles just as it did in the Great Depression in Germany and Austria when the money was used by people when the horrible money of Satan would not circulate. In Virgil, Austria and Schwanenkirch in Germany the people experienced great prosperity in the midst of the terrible depression when they used the unhoardable money of Christ and God. And the governments of the world, the evil money lords of the world, forced the people to use that money no more because they did not want the rest of the world to see how money should be, what the money of God is like. And how great it is. And how much prosperity and freedom it brings. So we will now read this parable of the laborers in the vineyard. Which tell us that everyone will receive the same amount of God's righteous money when we establish the kingdom of God on earth. And I believe... It should be $5,000 per person. That sounds like a good number to me. And those who do not help create God's kingdom on earth will receive nothing. Matthew chapter 20, verse 1, the parable of the wedding feast. For the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for denarius a day, 
he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to them he said, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right, I will give you. So they went. Going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing. And he said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last up to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the householder, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for Daenerys? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first last. So you see, Everyone will receive the same amount of money. Everyone who does their part and helps create the kingdom of God on earth. And then life will begin anew with God's righteous money. And we will be happy and prosperous and free more than we have ever imagined. More than anyone in the history of the world has ever experienced. We will have the great kingdom of God on earth. And along with the great laws of free land, when we inherit the earth and possess the earth, all of the money from the natural resources and the land will be given to mothers to help raise their children and to the elderly and to the handicapped, not to the filthy rich sons of Satan who receive that money now and who have stolen the earth from us and make us pay them for our mother, the earth, who God has given to all of us. Yes, when we establish the laws of free land and free money, we establish the foundation of the kingdom of God on earth. That's why Jesus said, if only we knew the things which make for peace. But now they're hidden from our eyes. He said that 2,000 years ago. But when he returned from 1862 to 1930 with his new name of Silvio Gazelle, they were no longer hidden from our eyes. He made it very clear the things which make for peace. He made it very clear that these two laws of God Free land and free money will establish the kingdom of God on earth. We will have peace throughout the entire world. Never another war. There will be no reason to go to war because everyone will be happy and have more than they ever imagined. It's time for us to unite on this the third day and create the great kingdom of God on earth. It will happen. It's inevitable. It's the will of God, and it's our destiny and fate.